Oh, this fella ain't home. I don't see his vehicle here. I'm just gonna have to make an official challenge here in his yard. Hey, buddy, watch this video. And when you do, I have challenged you to a race on your TTR 225. Save your money, buddy. We'll make a bet for a $100 bill, because I'm gonna smoke you. We took the first step and showed up, which I am impressed that he did that. Now, sir, if you'll give us a tour of the blue pus over here, tell us all about it. This is a 2003 Yamaha TTR 225. I beat a 252 stroke four wheeler on it. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I got it in the bag. There's going to be a bus length or two in between that and that. <laughs> this is new Yamaha engineering. Compared to almost 50 year old Yamaha engineering. Mm -hmm. Now, Yankee, what do you got there? This is a 1974 Yamaha 125 uh, Enduro. Did I say two stroke? No. Nothing but raw horsepower, <laughs> smoke and flame flying behind it, and it will smoke the blue pus over here. Enough I don't talk. Know. Enough talk. <laughs> Let's just rip down the road and see who has the better bike. What do you say? I don't know about it. Let's start off by seeing how this thing sounds. Fire it up. Ah, he's got electric start. Isn't that nice? Oh, sounds pretty good, honestly. And what'd you say this thing was made of? Made of. It's a four stroke motor. It's got four bald eagles right here. Oh, it does? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, right there. <laughs> bald eagles. Yeah. All right. And, uh, that's what's going to kick an old two strokes butt. So. All right, all right. This thing won't start. It, it will, I gotta hit the choke. <laughs> <laughs> No, them bald eagles, they don't chirp, they bark. Thing, if this thing will start. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we'll turn around, we'll come to a complete stop. up there around that bend. <laughs> what do you want to say? Three, two, one, go or what? Uh, sure. All right, here we go. 
I'll, say, I'll just count. Three, two, one. <laughs> driving that's not beating you you want to count down this time three two one top end. The only way I beat you is on top end. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so where you want to do it? Okay, we'll go from here back down to that other mailbox again. Right? Yeah, rolling start. Do a rolling start. His suggestion. Here we go. insulted his machine called it the blue pus four stroker slow poker and he's beat me every time bad news bad news bad news for the old man I can tell new bikes handle better than these old clod hoppers.
drive up here at the creek. See what he has to say. He rides good, better than mine, I'll tell you. Keep looking back. These young guys got me beat. I'm too old. My bike's a little bit too slow. I have to admit, they got me beat. Still fun though. Getting ready to turn around up here at the creek. Huh? Yeah, let's turn around. All right, we're trading places. Let me get him fired up here. <clears throat> there you go. One is there you are. He is going to kickstart. Oh, wait a minute. He's oh, oh, he's <laughs> he's never drove a two stroke. I never drove one this tall. I'm so dang short. Oh, I think I can handle it. Here we go. Let's see how he likes it. Keep running is all I can tell you. Two strokers don't like to idle too good. There he goes. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. Very comfortable, I'll just tell you. This machine, man, this thing rides so much better than that old bike, and that is to be expected. I'm not surprised at that. Big difference in the way they ride. We're gonna head all the way back to the his house. I'm gonna see if I can sell them that thing when we get back to the house. I'm gonna be like, hey, you wanna buy this two stroker, dude? You need it. And I'm sure he'll be like, yeah, dude, I need that thing. I gotta have it. Here we go. I should pass him. Oh, I feel the bald eagles kicking in right now. I feel the bald eagles that he's talking about kicking in. This does have bald eagles, he's right. I thought he was just joking, I hear him barking. I hear the eagles barking. He's slowing right down around them curves, he's figured out that that thing, he's figured out it don't ride like his does. Always fun to ride something different than you normally ride. So I'm sure he's enjoying himself just as I am enjoying myself on his new machine here, newer. This really is a nice bike right here, I gotta admit. Just the difference between old and new. So, if they make an aftermarket set of Barking Eagles, that apparently is what I need here for my old tired Yamaha. I have to admit defeat. Hello 125. It it hang if I didn't have fifth or sixth gear. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You got an extra gear? Yeah. I got six <clears> gears. <throat> you only got five. Yeah, but that's I right. If I don't have six gears, it'd do all right. Yeah. And how much you rode this thing? Not much. A few days. See, I've rode this one for like a year and a half, so I'm used to it. Right. And I can do whatever to it, and I'm not afraid of it. Right. And, <laughs> and that, yeah, that makes a difference. It does. It really does. All right, so he won. I, I retract my statement of calling it the blue pus. I honestly thought I had a better chance of winning, but I lost. That's all I can say. I lost. I will, again, I'll get on eBay and see if I can find some barking eagles. And hopefully, we will do this again. He looked at that Super Cub and kept looking at it, looking at it, till finally he asked, Can I take it for a test drive? Well, and of course he can. All he had to do was ask. I don't care. What's 
thing's not an off-road machine. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it? I like it. It drives pretty dang good. It'd be good if you're in a city or something, right? Yeah, I'd hate to go 60 miles an hour on it. <laughs> I hate going 40 on it. <laughs> <laughs>